you see, oh yeah, hey everybody, it's, Ra it's Robbie from Nerd Family, and today we have a little problem here, and want to know what my problem is? Here's what it is. Look down, everybody, and then you will see. Yeah, I have a nice little arrow bed here. Open. It's actually my nana's. But want to know why this thing's at the house? Nobody slept over besides my sister's friend, but this is not from her. When I slept over there this weekend, sleeping there, and late at night, because I had to be up really late, because somebody was knocking on the door and it was my dad, which annoyed me. So, yeah, some, so when I tried, when I inflated it, so when I inflated this thing, because I have... Two other ones, only one of them belongs to the rest. So, unless, of course, you count those two ones, which you got at the junk sale. So, yeah, those. But, yeah, it's not about those. Or Nana's Imaginaire. Or my, or my, or my family's super high Arrowhead, which is another one that had a few holes in it. But we're going to fix those as well today on film. So, yeah. So... I, I was relaxing in the recliner with this arrow bed inflated right next to it, and there w and I forgot all about this sharp object that was sticking out of it. So then I heard a, and then a, tss, and that was a noise. So I tried to pull the arrow bed away from the sharp object. That didn't work. But it got bigger. But but. And I kept pulling and pulling, but by the time I figured out what happened, how big the hole was, what happened, the hole got, let me show you where the, what happened and how big the hole was, by this is how big it was by the time I, re I thought, I noticed, by the time I noticed that, that, that I needed to pull this way instead of this way, I, the hole was already this big uh uh yeah a big hole yes a very big hole so what do you suppose i did about it so i immediately removed the arrow bed from the stack not as imaginary my arrow bed and this thing were stacked so this one thing was in the middle of the arrowhead sandwich. So I had to remove it immediately before the entire thing collapsed. If it did, it would be a disaster. Yeah. So yeah, I had to remove that. Then I got even more mad when the knocking happened when my and when it really was my dad, and I got an, even more annoyed. <sighs> Forgot to tell him about the hole though. So. Here we are now on Sunday. And now I must deal with this hole myself. Why? Since my dad's watering the plants. So, I'm worried. I'm hoping this thing does not backfire on me. Okay, and I'll let's all pray. This does not backfire on me. I'm going to be using a special kind of tape. We got bought it just for these arrow bed holes. So now let's all pray. Now let's pray this works, you guys. Let's pray this works. No? I'm using this tape. First I need to find where to put it. I'm praying that this camera doesn't fall either. And... Tape's hard to get. I heard that this tape is super sticky. That is sticky. Real sticky. Wondering if it's sticky enough and good enough to demolish this hole forever. Okay, we have the initial stick.
Uh-oh. Asian. Whoops. Didn't do it right. I had to get rid of some of this paper. Why did I? Scissors down here. Out here, there. This tape uncuttable. This tape is impossible to work with you. This is really annoying tape. They should call this annoying tape. annoying tape has done its job so what yeah I'm fixing um, up you the YouTube channel oh, I don't, don't get in the shot yeah. now let's use the book end of these scissors to smooth this dumb hole out this dumb tape out I mean and fix this mess and fix this mess we're good <laughs> Cool. And fix it for good this time. What did you just say? Did you just steal my stuff? Did you? What did you do? Are you stealing the bread? You? Oh, sorry for my brother's use of, you know. You know, you know, it's what he calls, when he gets annoyed, he says that. Sorry, sorry people, but it happens to my annoying brother. And, yeah, and just what, after hours and days of searching, we still cannot find that night finder dart. Wondering where it is. So yeah, sorry if the place is all in Ishka Bibbles. But hey, still, it's um mist out here. It's a mess. And thank goodness we have several more arrow beds to work with. Uh, now, time to go. Now it's time to do the old fold trick. Fold up the broken, the previously, and hopefully never will be again, broken arrow bed. Shove it to the corner because this next one is an older one. And special Attention. This next bed is an older one. Special attention. Yeah. Yeah, that's our big red fan! Hey, Dad! Dad! Um, bring in the next Darrow bed! The first one's been repaired! We need the next one in the living room. No, I want the lightest other one, the Imaginaire. I'll get it. It's the lighter one. Okay, but we need it in a few seconds, okay? Because I'm making a video all about this. And you're currently being filmed. Say hello to the camera, Dad. We bring both of them in anyway. It'll save us time. Uh, please. Dad, please bring both of them in anyway. Okay. Okay, Dad. Bring in the old, my Nana's old imaginaire. 
Come on, move it, move it. Oops, stick, we don't want. Okay. Yeah, whoa! Fans, as in human fans, it's a machine one, and it's powerful, horribly powerful. The tape done its work on that Aerobat Avalanche. You yeah. have to duck, duck. Duck, duck, goose. Yeah, very funny, Dad. And ah! technical difficulties. There are bad problems over. There. Sorry for the interruption. Again. Just the dumb arrow bed fell again. Yes. Now it's time to unroll. This is how old it is that it has that old time kind of valve in it. This part does not do anything. Or does it? And look. The last one had a flap pump, but this is a whole different bunch of cocoon hides. It's a whole different bunch of bananas. Or uh, in our case, this is the old Imaginaire one. Ever heard of Imaginaire? It's nice. They're very nice. However, they're old. And... Now this time, guys, will you please be quiet? Yay, Robbie. Thank you very much. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Now, the thing with these older modes, and this is, look, it has sort of a, look, imagine your buyer. arrow. So look, no, look. See this notch and see this thing here? Look. You need air. You need electricity to make it harder and inflate it, but you don't need electricity to deflate it either. This. Now, let the Imaginaire do the work. Now just sit back, relax, and let the Imaginaire unfold it. It's sort of like the arrow extra bit in a minute. A bit bigger, though. That's why they cannot call it that. It does not roll up instantly. It's a that is a very nice sound. The sweetest sound, next to the one with the Mac powering up, is an Imaginaire bump going. Go up, my little, ma my wonderful Imaginaire bed. Yikes! Oh, Whew, we don't want another big hole in it. This one has holes in it. I think it may be a busted steam. So. And yeah, we're done with that. And we're good with in the inflating. So this is what I mean. I inflate the arrow band. So it's a weird myth. I don't even know if it's true or not, but there's only one way to find out. But we're not doing it yet. So yeah, this is nice. And I, and one thing, these two do not have built-in pumps, so you gotta buy it. Or you use your trusty little Oric XL vacuum, the blow section, to inflate them and use the vacuum side to deflate them. That's the disadvantage of using Dyson. Now, in your face, Dyson! Now, hey Nick, it's time! No, the other time. Now, Nick, get the arrow water. Oh, yeah. 
Now, I know that there's like some rubbery stuff inside of it, but the cloth side, oh, yeah, it's comfy, quite comfy. Hmm. Oh, wait, let's see. Hmm. Come on. Really? How does it inflate then? Wait. Listen, shush you guys, I'm trying to hear for a leak, I'm trying to hear for a leak in the arrow bed, please, shush, shush, sorry for the annoying background, noise you guys, I'm trying to, wait, guys I'm trying to hear, you guys, I'm making it really annoying for me, and it's almost impossible for me to hear an air leak now because of you. Dad, I'm, you know, Dad will, Victoria and Nicholas, out. And be quiet, be quiet or leave. Do not think about it. You know what? Anywhere where I think there could be a leak, there's a leak. Okay. New plan. That's my new plan. Obviously, it could be around this pump. Wait. What? Oh, yeah. Since the majority of air holes are normally on the bottom of these lifts, what most of them say. Oh. This one looks like a possible hole. Wait, I need to. No! Ah! Arrow bed avalanche! Mess, but that happens sometimes. Now, you hear that? I hear it. It's coming from over there. Huh? <clears throat> Definitely coming from this. Found one small breach. You know what it's time. Well, do you know what time it is? It's annoying take time. Okay. This time we know what we're doing, don't we? We know that the tape's hard to cut. That's why scissors were, that's why Somebody, thank goodness this will, this better work or else we're all in trouble. Yep, did it the old fashioned way. I made a little slit, then I used, then I tore it. And boom. All right, this hole is done for, at least for now. That hole's done for, but there's gotta be another hole behind this jaw. Yeah. Wait, I need to, wait. One second. Oh, you use your. Now, I'm gonna go to get this thing into a better zoom, okay? Now I'm gonna get you guys into a zoom mode so you can see. Dude, what's happening? 
Oh, I'm just gonna have to. Um, you no, know, see. This is just debris. Well, what is it? do we have here? This is the Ching Fall or Mega Slip. Or what is it? What is it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to try to focus here. Did you just complain? No, 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 this is just a fabric Hey, I bet. It's got to be weird. Now, there's got to be thought I saw a hole somewhere, and what? Whew. I really need to get the delinter. Wait one second as I go and find. Will you please stop complaining? Look, do you want your all your holes to be gone? Good. So, this is the process. Where are the holes, for goodness sake? Where in the world are these holes? Are they on the side? Okay, so most of the holes are here on the bottom. There are hardly any of them on the side. So that means this is a conspiracy city. Holes. You know what? That's it. That's a hole. You can't fool me. That's a hole. I, I, even though it looks like one, I don't care whether it looks like it or not. It is a hole. If it, if I think it's a hole, it's a hole. Until we get a. Victoria, what are you doing to the aloe bed? Sorry, Pump. Sorry, but that was not a part. That was not part of the Now, the hole. There has to be at least two holes. Or is it just the just one? Hey! Don't break the pump. You break it, you buy it. Much better. Now let's find it. It's time for good. The whoosh valve, of course. The quick air release valve. It's right near this. Cut ya. Yeah. You're under our asshole. And you're staying there for the for as long as this air bit stays working. No, well, this tape is staying there keeping the air in. Okay. Another one. Tape.
still want one or two more. Victoria just caught it. And deflate this crazy arrow bed before Dad finds out. Before Dad finds out this is Dad, did you bring an arrow bed number three? Now, see this tab? We're gonna pull it and. As this arrow bed slowly deflates. I would like to give a shout out to Ashley Wilson. Their channel is great, but there is one video that I really like. The arrow. How to patch a hole in your air mattress. Okay? okay. They inspired me to find the hole up here, which is near the whoosh. Dad, bring in arrow bed number three, the big one. Please. Hey, Dad. Dad. What is it, Rob? I'm trying to clean it up. It's time for you to bring in arrow bed number three. Yeah, I'm not doing that now. Come on. Rob, leave me alone. I can't get any more clear than that, can I? Well, I have a lot to do too, which is deal with these arrow beds. Okay? Looks like I'm going to have to get arrow bed number three. Outside, please bring out it. I will. Thank you, Dad. You got Legos out here. But put them away, Dad. I'm gonna be playing with them eventually today. So yeah, first you need to put Dad's iPad on the charge, which There. Yeah, this iPad charging up nicely. Now, about these two Coleman arrow beds. I don't want to waste all my time. These two Coleman arrow beds we got, they're in this. top condition. Besides, there was a stain, but me and Dad cleared up the stain. Okay, so yeah, that. So now let's all hope and pray. 
the dad gets in here with arrow bin number three soon. Hey. Since we have all this time on our hands, maybe we should discuss a little bit more deeply about how these arrow beds came to be. We're going to start with the arrow bed number three first. Arrow bed number three. Actually, no. Let's, let's tell them how the arrow beds got here in the order in which they were made and how they got here. Arrow bed number one, the Imaginaire. The Imaginaire got here. When Nana got it, when my Nana got it, A, from a TV ad, or B, from Bed Bath & Beyond. Because this, and because I was not alive when she bought this. Because it's an Imaginaire, and the Imaginaire is quite old stuff. Okay? Soon after, now, I don't know whether the, this may have been before, right before or right after I was born. My mom got arrow bed number three, which is, it was a, and she got that for $350 from a QVC ad on TV. And loaned it to some people. Never slept on it. Nor did I. Who put the uh, what? Who put the net up? Not me. Nick. Okay. Okay. So ever since the arrowbed number one here got hole in it, got a hole in it, holes in it. Arrowbed number this thing. Arrowbed number. Two came on to the scene, and it was perfect for several years, at least until this big hole got it, but that hole's gone. And then we have arrow bed number four, no, I mean five, and number six. This one had a hole, had a stain in it, no holes, and was, and ha and, and became arrow bed number five yesterday, around new when two hours before the sale ended. And then this thing probably became arrow bed number six at two hours before the sale ended on Saturday. So yeah, it, they were bought at a, at a flea market from somebody who, so yeah. So yeah, $20 for both of them. Pretty good deal. Now, we're gonna need ice cream. We're gonna need, we're gonna need a bigger living room. Hey, Dad, maybe while you wait for that pasta to boil, I think we're gonna need a bigger living room now. We better get this place ready for arrowbed number three. And this arrowbed is a monster when inflated. A monster. It's one of the largest arrow beds ever. Or maybe it is. Yeah, it's the super high one. Now here's it's a middle-aged one. This is super old. That's quite new. Look, it has a smooth whoosh, but it's black. It does not have all this fancy, fancy, firmer, softer thing. It does not have a flat pump. It has sort of that, but smaller. And a bit put in here, but still, this part, you know, still bulges out. Has this style thing, but it's, but it says arrow bed on this. It's sort of imaginaire. And what's shocking is, see, instead of this, it says, instead of imaginaire, it says arrow bed. One touch comfort control. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, arrow bed number three. Move, please. Okay, and and this arrow bed is going crazy, escaping from this thing's huge. Um, warm. Cool. I was yo, that's hot. It was in the sun. You let it in the sun? It this thing is melting. You better not have melted it. 
this thing's melted. This better not be melted, or else we're gonna have to get another one to make sure Mom doesn't notice. So yeah. Excuse me for a second. There's a reason there's this hairdryer. It was originally to attempt to deal with the myth of can you use a hairdryer to insulate an airway with a mush valve, but now it's serving a new purpose to cool this thing down. To cool this hot arrow bed down. Quick, where's the cord? Where is it today? People, so I'm plug the engine air. Plug in the hair dryer. It's not gonna be on hot. We don't want anything hotter than it already is. Be on cold. over. Is it cooled down yet? Okay. So, yeah. At least it's not fused together. At least the dumb thing isn't fused together. At least this thing is not fused together. So, ah! Do not throw the bag for these arrow bags. They're expensive, and this one and this one can is can't buy new, which is great, just great. So you better be careful with that. You better be careful with that. Ugh, this thing's heavy. There's a reason why Dad had to bring them. I can handle those two, but not this. Dad always says no, you can't handle any of these, but I really can handle it. He does not really know what he's saying, but I do know that I cannot handle this weight at all for a good reason. It's impossible. Impossible for me to even think about lifting it. Well, I did do it once, but when I was actually getting this thing inside. But uh, and if we extreme heat, yeah, we're dealing with more heat waves. Yeah, we're we're coming in a heat. And there's a good reason we all have the air conditioner. I'm surprised Pico has not told us that they're shutting off our electricity. Because, no, not because of the bills. We need to pay our bills. Easy. But due to, the, due to everybody using up all their air conditioners, I'm surprised. Hey. Time to take, wait. So yeah, these things make it impossible for us to deal with. 
It's a, it's, it, a heavy arrow bed is one thing, but a boiling hot heavy arrow bed is a whole nother issue. And it, with its heatness, it's now worse than ever for me to even think about pulling this stupid thing. Notice that the last one had that pattern when it's completed. This thing has these sort of shapes. Now, you have the hair dryer out here. Let's just see if this myth is true. Let's use, let's attempt to, no, we're not gonna fully inflate this thing. Just a fun video. It's a fun video for us all. Well, one second, we just need to put this down. Open up quick release valve. And push the cold button. But now let's let this thing really deflate completely. And even though that was fun and all, we're just deflating our progress away and letting see what we really have to offer. Hey, I don't want to cheat, so yeah, look. Yeah, look, smooth wood straw just like that. But it says arrow instead of open for the whoosh. Also, look, same style of remote except arrow bed. One touch comfort control. Look, present day arrow bed logo. But look, thing. So yeah, no passing after this. So when you're upstairs, you're upstairs for good. I'm after this. Um, either way, you're just going to be trapped there, so. Um, when this, the guy, when this wonderful arrow bed inflates, you know it, because you are, you know, it's impossible to move. So, you still got to make more room. Move this out of the way. And Maybe you can do that. Thank you very much. Thank you for that request, and let's inflate this thing. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see how fast this inflates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, 
129, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 100, 11, 12, 13, 113, 113 seconds. 113 seconds. Whew. And this is how high the aerobit gets. Quite a high bed. Higher than both of these things. Those other ones. Now, let us see how comfortable it is. Now, this is as hard as a rock. Now, this thing currently is as hard as a rock. Dad, are you using the sink? Dad, are you using the w water? Are you are you using water? Oh, because I thought that was air escaping. Yeah. Okay. I know that there's air. But there's an air hole. There are holes. It's not on the flock. It's not on the velvet. It's not on the velvet flock. So it has got to be all of these. Now, to inflate it a lot on um, this thing, that's just cute. Now, we already patched a ma the major holes. So it's actually sleep audible. That's what it sleepable. So you can actually sleep on it, but it'll be a very uncomfortable night. And wait. Do you mind if I sit on that? No, I do. I do, Nick. Get off of it. Get off. I'm trying to find an air leak here. That's it. That Nick, you're clogging up the. Nick, get out of the living room. Dad, Nicholas is getting in my way. So the and this man will be safe. Lay somewhere else. You can lay on on a hornet's nest for all I care. Just leave me alone and uh, and so I can. Listen for air leaks in peace. Now. I'm being crushed, Nick. <laughs> Nick, you need. Let's check over here. <laughs> over here. <sighs> over here. <sighs> Over here. What was that? No. If I'm correct, what's in this? They're all on the bottom. They're all on the bottom, but... 
They're all on the bottom, but how in the world am I to access it? The bottom. I did it! Good job. Okay, there. It's on its back. It's on its side now. Now, this is what the bottom of the arrow bed looks like. Now that the thing's on its side, you can now see. Now it's time for, for me to do one thing. Break out the arrow water. Or not. <coughs> dad, that smells like tacos. Are you making... Get in there. Oh my gosh, my dad is making tacos. That is a good sign. Hey, Dad, try not to warm up my shell in the oven, okay? I'll add my own cheese, okay? Okay? Please? Okay. Well, that was an I don't know. <gasps> I found the culprit. Right there. Where's the annoying tape? It's time again. Where's that tape? Okay, it's good. So, wait, there. you handy again. Do you take holder? You just flip, flip it up, flip it up, flip it up. Now it's time to stop it in their tracks. Now, add this piece of tape. Huh? Another one. These, these holes need to have better hiding spots. Are these holes actually trying to get themselves sealed? Are they actually, do they want to get them sealed? Do they want to get them sealed up? Do they? Now where is it? So maybe that's it. Oh. There it is. And it's trapped yet again. This this annoying, even though the tape is becoming a bit annoying, it is very useful. Let's keep getting it. Okay, just got that one again. Oops, tape on the camera. Again. Now let's look for more of these annoying holes. <gasps> Busted seam. First, but yeah, that's a seam. I'll deal with the seams later. Tinier piece of tape to inspect the pump. Mm. Now,
Bobby Rose. Okay, this is not. No crazy fabric woven to distract. Only the real holes. See that? There's an there's a tiny hole right there. But there was a tiny hole right there until it got sealed up. Now it's time to deal with that busted seam. A tiny piece of the seam that somehow turned to the dark side. Oh no. Do seams even use it? If so, the all hail the all power. Yeah, yeah, seams are one thing, it's a lot of tips. A little bit. A lot of it. See, which will deal the unbusting to this previously was it seen. And I'm horrible at this. Thank goodness I had that spare. Let's try this. Right. Ah, failed. I failed. I, I failed yet again with this. Let's try. Yeah. Let's try this thing again. This time, since I have so much tape. I will succeed. <laughs> there we go. This thing is all taken care of. Is this really all? Is it really all that's left? Is it really over? Is it over? Is it over? Are all these seams, is everything really gone? Huh. Come on. Um. Now we just gotta get this thing down. Now all we need to do is get it down. Oh no. This doesn't look good. No, 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 no! Okay. Hey, I'm saved. I'm saved! To move this so we can get this thing done and over with. Ah! 
Ah. Mm. Oh no. This is bad. I'm trapped. Oh no. Daylight. I see daylight. Good. I see the top of the mattress. Well, that's enough excitement for one arrow bed repair. Whew. Oof, I was almost done for. I was almost done for here. I was almost done for. Okay, but there's only one way to kick the video off. Is something crazy about to happen. It's time to spin. Now it's time to spin the crazy wheel. Oh no. Well, this is a perfect thing for us to do on an arrow bed video. Leaning tower of arrow beds. Yes. Ever heard of the leaning tower of Pisa? Well, there's something else known as the leaning tower of arrow beds. Thank goodness we have all these arrow beds here. Let's, oh, let's do it. I do not want to do this, but the wheel says I must do it. The Vulcan videos, it was lightsabers. Nightfinder videos, me never being able to see the dart. Now, and for the arrow bed video, oh yeah, the well, wheel of misfortune was out of order for all the other ones, but. This one. Why? Why world? Why do you want? Why must you put us to this? I made this genius. And why do we have to test these arrow beds? And make sure that this tape works. Thank goodness I have an excuse for doing this. We honor the wheels of us. Since I know none of them have holes in them, it's time to. Since we've spun the wheel and it, done it. Okay. Take two.
It's already quite hot. We can go bigger. I cannot believe this. But we can go bigger. I cannot believe I'm doing this. Okay. We can go bigger than this. Watch. We have another one of them. But you should have known that this was coming, you guys. Should have known. That I would someday lose. Oh. What? Yeah? And we cannot go any bigger than this. So goodbye. This is Nerf Family. Happy from Nerf Family signing off. Oh, yeah. After the grand deflation. After the grand. So, yeah. Signing off. Bye. Bye.